All right, hello. Today we are going to be um, modifying the JJRC H20 uh, hexcopter with the mod for the antenna so that it doesn't have range issues. The hexcopter has issues with range uh, out of the box. It can only go about maybe 35 to 50 feet before it starts to fly off. Um, but fortunately there's an easy fix and we're going to go through it. So the first thing we want to do is take off the props and it's really really helpful when we take off the props if we just lay them out like they're put on the um, on the hexcopter and you just pull it straight up and they pop right off and then you want to make sure that you put them in like the same position that they were in I do it with the front pace facing forward and then leave like a little uh, you know space between them so that whenever it comes time to put them back on you don't get confused and put the props in the wrong place <clears throat> sometimes they can be a booger but they usually come off pretty easy and included in the um uh, let me grab some pliers uh, if you have needle nose pliers around that could be uh, handy is pulling these things off because you can grab them and push them, pull them straight off with the pliers a lot easier. And uh, there are replacements in case you accidentally pull one and snap it, fortunately. Okay, the next there. Alright, so then once you've got the propellers off and laid out like they're supposed to be laid out, next you have to take the screwdriver and unscrew all of the little screws. Uh, unfortunately with this one, not only do you have to unscrew the two screws here at the base of the casing, but you also have to unscrew and take out all of the uh, screws that hold the prop guards in because they're also holding the case together. So once you have all the screws out, it'll just pull right apart real easily, uh, and you have to then pop the board up from the bottom thing. Oh, and there's two screws here and here, and actually three screws. There's three screws that you have to pull up on the board because you have to get underneath of it. Okay, so once you've gotten that pulled up in a way, it's time to burn your hole. Uh, you can actually see right here uh, the, the antenna coming out of the board that we're going to pull through the hole. Uh, I have found that if you burn the hole right below the where the line is and in front of the J on JJRC, it pretty much lines up perfectly with where that antenna comes through. So to do that, we will plug in our soldering iron, and we'll be very careful because you can burn your house down with the soldering iron. Um, and you don't need to get it as hot as you would normally have to get a soldering iron to actually solder with, because we're just going to past it. Yeah, the, there's also a modification that you can make on the controller, but uh, I've really, as once I've modded this, uh, it's never given me any kind of problem. Um, Go. Alright, so I burned a hole for the antenna to come through with the uh, soldering iron. i got to remember to unplug the soldering iron. And then you just usually take the screwdriver uh, and put it up under there. And then uh, you get it to to go through that hole and it's just you know you want to be not too uh, hard on it because you don't want to rip the antenna connection um, but it should just slide right through and then uh, I start putting it back together once it's been uh, done a big thing I want to remind you of is is whenever you're putting it together make sure that you put all the wires down uh, inside of the things so that they don't uh, screw up if they'll get shorted if you actually end up pinching them. Um, but first you want to screw together the, 
the board back down onto the frame. It doesn't really matter how they go in here, just that they're not in where the plastic seals together because that'll put shorts in them. Alright. When you put this back together, you're going to be really careful to add these uh, back in. You don't want to get done and realize that you didn't put the prop guards, all the prop guards on, and have to take the whole thing back apart. Um, but they set pretty good. And then once you have that set on there. This will fit right back together and you start screwing her down. Yeah, and the whole thing pretty much goes together simply. Alright, once you've got that all uh, screwed back together, the last step is to just put the props back on and you are good to go. Uh, I have definitely noticed a big improvement in the range. I've never actually had a range problem once uh, I put all these back, or once I uh, pulled the, the antenna out, I could get it up. I've got it up to a little bit over a hundred feet, and I've never had it fly away on me since then. Uh, whereas whenever I first got this and flew it outside, it flew away on me after like 20 or 30 feet. Uh, so if you're planning on flying this outside, I definitely recommend it. And um, thanks to Pod Flyer, who made another video. I'll link that in the description showing how to do this. I just uh, thought maybe I'd go into a little bit closer of the tutorial. And she's ready to go. Thanks for watching.